I'm Diana. I'm glad you're with me today, and I want to share with you about the joy of the Lord is your strength. You know, I personally have been through so many days of uh, frustration and sadness and just, you know, just dealing with so many things that have happened in life, and it just seemed like I was pulling a ball and chain. But you know, as I began to read the Word and understand how important it was to the Lord and is to the Lord that we have His gladness of heart, that we have His joy, and even as it says in Proverbs 17, 22, a cheerful heart is good medicine, or I like to say a cheerful heart is God medicine. I began to search the scriptures and just find out what God had to say about my situations. And so, you know, in John 17, Jesus was getting ready to go to the cross to die for our sins, to take all of our sicknesses and diseases and sorrows and sadness on the cross so that we could live a connected life back to the Father. And in John 17, 13, I want to read to you what it says. It's so powerful and very important for you and me to receive this as a desire of the Lord for you. It's almost like a promissory note that He has spoken out that says, this is what I'm leaving you, and I want you now to receive it. So it's John 17, 13, and I'm reading out of the Amplified. And, it, and this is Jesus saying, And now I am coming to you, Father, and I say these things while I am still in the world. Jesus knew the power of His words that would be spoken while He was still on the earth, that they would be carried through all mankind, and that you, in fact, hearing them today, would be receiving them. So He said, I say these things while I am still in the world, so that my joy, think about the joy of Creator God, of the great I Am, of your Savior living in you, so that my joy may be made full and complete and perfect in them, and that they may experience my delight fulfilled in them, and that my enjoyment may be perfected in their own souls. Your soul is your mind, your will, and your emotions. God wants these things that have been blocking your happiness and your peace. Maybe it's business. Maybe it's family. Maybe it's everything you hear on television 24-7, all these negative reports that are stealing your joy and making you feel hopeless. Well, the Lord is saying, I am releasing to you a good report, a report that I want you to believe because He wanted His gladness in you. And you know, in Third John, uh, the Apostle John, who was so greatly loved by the Lord and knew that love, he said, I don't have any greater joy than this to find, than to find that my children are walking in truth. And the truth was that he said that uh, he wished above all things that we would prosper and be in health even as our soul prospers. Well, our soul prospers when we become aware of what the Lord has done for each one of us. He wants you to cast away the negative feelings, the pressure, the oppression, and He wants you to receive His joy. And you can do that by just saying it. Say, Lord, I receive your joy today. I receive your delight today. I release the things from the past, and I take on what you've got on your mind for me. If you'll do that today, and you'll just uh, think about that, feel it passionately, I believe the Lord will do something great for you. I want to encourage you, uh, if you've enjoyed to the message today, to uh, send it to your friends and family. And uh, I just believe that God has breakthroughs of joy and happiness and a cheerful heart for each one of you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.